shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Come on, shake your body, baby, do that conga. No, you can't control yourself any longer. Three equal pieces. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Ooh, hot. Ah, safe. <laughs> Look at that cheese. Oh, my God, man. Well, howdy y'all, deep from down here in uh, around Miami, Florida. I'm gonna be making a pork butt on my Gorilla Grill Silverback Edition. But unlike everybody else, we're gonna do two variations on this simple recipe because it's gonna spice up tremendously and give it a great kick. And trust me, when you get this, you'll see how much, even though it will pull apart graciously, look great on the outside, this is gonna have a more citrusy, vibrant flavor which is great for carnitas and pork tacos and uh, just anything, you know, oh my gosh, pork and rice, you can say it, but it gives the, the pork so much more vibrancy without being over anything, but just, it's just a beautiful thing. Uh, the recipe comes from Chef the Movie um, on how they did theirs and it's cook, called Cooking with Babish, who replicated the recipe and I'll give you that one down there and the list of ingredients will all follow. So with that, and as you notice, my grill a grill yeah there it is anyway so i got it all covered up here so as you can see from our puerto rican and texas traditions down here it's gonna be some good eating everything all starts with the uh it's upside down <laughs> with a good shoulder a pork shoulder so this is a eight and a half pounder with that uh the ingredients are going to be it's going to be a citrus infusion obviously oranges lemons and limes that is freshly cut garlic and mass. It's been marinating for a long time. Delicious. Um, spice is obviously ginger, thyme, the good old Gorilla Rub. Um, and then we're going to do cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne pepper for a kick, tarragon, oregano, and a little bit of rice vinegar to help it bind. Now, I'm going to take this pork shoulder and when I'm going to brine it first because that helps everything taste so much better. You got to trust me, guys. Let's do this overnight. It works. So obviously the kosher salt, which is a salty and a brown sugar and my trusty extra strength foam cooler. I'll fill that guy up, put the cork in there, uh, put the pork in there. I'll put some, I'll put some ice to hold it overnight. And then in the morning I'll start doing that delicious cooking. So, all right, stand by. I'll get you the next part. All right, now post uh, garlic, and if you could smell this, friend gave this to me, thank you, guy. Okay, so we're gonna mix this all up. This is a very citrusy, uh, acidic, sweet, herbal. You can smell it tastes like <sighs> Christmas. I don't know, maybe. It's just bright and happy. All right, so in a second, I'm gonna attempt to put the nine pound pork roast in here and see if it covers it good all right so there you go i just got some freezer packs an old frozen bottle and this is just to keep it the, at a decent temperature so it doesn't spoil but incredibly safe this thing stays an average of about 38 to 40 degrees so the the pork is cold the marinade is cold and that ice trust me in this thing it'll keep it overnight still be frozen so again there you go here is the brine But that little baby, let it sleep and marinate. Good four hours bare minimum. Overnight's the best. Okay, so now we're making the mojo marinade. So this is what'll go on after I pull the pork out from the brine. So that's already the juice of the lemon and the lime and the spices, the oregano and the cumin. As you notice, I peeled these poor little oranges bald and took all their citrusy. You want those oils and the essence. It just smells great when you're cooking that. And that is a half a cup 
I'm right, sorry, a cup full or about a bunch of cilantro that's gonna go all of this, all of that. I'm gonna let this melt overnight and it's gonna provide an amazing rub that'll sit in later. Okay, there it is. I know you're thinking, wow, what a, what a rub, right? Trust me, when this sits overnight, if you taste it, you get that pow of the lemon and the lime of the herbal of the cilantro. Later, that orange will come out, just get that beautiful, more citrusy flavor. But right now, it's just a beautifully herbally, sweet tart, uh, sour yum. You can usually see those mojo marinades in the store, but they're 90% oil, really greasy. This one's only a third a cup of oil and all this probably six cups. So this is not oily, this is very citrusy. All right, I'm gonna let this meld for overnight. I'll put it on tomorrow. Yum, yum. I know some of you are gonna ask about this, so I'm gonna tell you up front. Um, since I do a lot of grilling and, and ribs and stuff, I like to have a very big cutting board uh, this on Amazon, I want to say it's like 25 bucks or something, a lifesaver. Uh, you can sterilize it easy, you can clean it easy. Uh, I use just basically either like my, my vinegar solution just to wipe it down really quick. Or like I said, after pork, I have a little light, you know, bleach and water and just clean it up nice. Kills all the bacteria, makes it good, but you've got a great surface to prep all your work on and not mess up your kitchen counter. I actually leave it up there most of the time, so it works great for me. I'll send the link in the description below, but it's a great thing to have. All right, deep in the heart of, well, not Texas, but Miami, Florida. It's uh, seven in the morning. We're gonna start the grill up here and get some good pork shoulder here for my carnitas and good old pulled pork. All right, guys, let's get to pulling it out of the marinade and getting it into, uh, so I'm putting it in the brine and putting it in the marinade. Doing a little side bean project here to go with my pork later, so simple beans hey okay. still good hey 12 hours later uh, this guy worked out really really good I put a little towel underneath them just the tiniest bit of condensation but tiny so all right let's take a look at what this beautiful brine did yeah I have a fact. don't drink the water All right, brr, this is cold, as I told you. Look at that, that's nicely brined. Okay, let's bring this bad boy out. I know that's attractive, right? All right, there she blows. Now we're gonna put it, and I'm gonna pat it dry and put it into the marinade. Right, just for y'all to see how good that Ice chest keeps it. Fifty-one degrees, fifty degrees in there, something like that. See, perfect. A couple little pieces of uh, those ice packs, etc. Overnight, fifty degrees. Okay, now the marinade. Now this, I can only tell you, it smells so citrusy and herbal, and just gonna be bright. Um, Especially like when you do Cubano sandwiches down here in Miami, you really want that that mm, fresh when you hit when you hit the uh, the bite of that pork versus just a straight you know pork with that you know porky taste. But anyway, this just brings it to another layer of flavor. It's delicious. So I'm gonna concentrate it in my big stock pot here and let this sit until about one o'clock today. So that'll be about three four hours. We're gonna be we're gonna be sitting in the marinade and until I put it on the smoker tonight. All right. Let's get to, well, put it in the pot. Okay, so remember this is 50 degrees. I'm going to cook this on the grill about probably three, four hours. So I'm just going to let this sit just like this, covered, and really let those herbs and spices just get in there. So you can tell it's in the liquid there. All right, so that's that bottom's getting nice and marinated. Yum, yum. As you know, us pitmaster guys like a little something to go with our amazing pork shoulder. This is some just, I think it's 12 bean soup or whatever. That is sauteed onions, uh, one big onion, and a little bit of old-fashioned sausage in there. So, and so it's cumin and pepper and salt. and. Uh, 
I just put the beans to steam for a little bit on uh, this what I have my called uh, chicken and meat button here anyway so that'll do so like 15 minutes it does a quick pressure cook and gets the beans to boiling this is a ham hock I saved from a ham from Thanksgiving and with that I'm just gonna cook this low and slow for the next four hours yum yum and welcome back to the next day all right so this has been going in the marinade for right about five hours uh, looking good trimmed all the all the nasty fat off obviously before I put it on the grill what I'm gonna do is you'll see I'll be putting in this I I'd like to I'm gonna be steaming this a little bit with some fresh herbs etc moisture just like you do in the old smoker days you know pellet smoker doesn't really need that but you'll see how good it makes it taste so let's get to it all right so this will be what I'm going to smoke my pork shoulder in I know it's not your original, but this is again, some Miami flair. Uh, this recipe is just a little bit notch up from what, how, what we do for, we make Cuban sandwiches or Cabanos um, with all this marinade, bright, bright, bright Miami flavors, obviously. So Florida love it. There's our oranges, our limes, our onions, that beautiful garlic. Oh my gosh. So that is actually, the best thing you can do is just have stock in this. To keep that you don't want too much vegetable obviously so I just had some extra but as a rule one of those each and that's that's the broth down there so the wire rack is gonna go on and the pork shoulder is gonna get out ready here we go and yum so trust me this is gonna just add another whole layer of flavor that makes this pork pop without being too sweet or citrusy uh, what I'm sorry a citric acid uh, no it just has this very good aroma of herbal and just a little bit of fruit essence, but like I can like you kind of walk past a good orange, you know, kind of thing. Very light, very light, but definitely, definitely not your old fashioned pork shoulder. I'm gonna give this a rub with a good old fashioned, you know it, all purpose grill the grills rub, and just to give that another layer of flavor. I'm eating up a good old grill to grill here. She's took a lot to go. This is a 67 degree day, which is cold for us Floridians down here. So it's gonna take a little bit to go. So while that's warming up, I'm gonna clean up my grill a little bit and get ready to start cooking. And by the way, using good old competition grade pellets. They are amazing. Oh, that's interesting. Pecan. I never noticed that. It's not a competition blends. It's pecan. Oh, huh. well, there you go. So it's half pecan and I think half competition blend in the hopper. Well, there you go. I learned something today. All right, guys. Let's start. And girls, let's start. All right there, peeps. Here we go. If that doesn't look good, come on. Come on. You know it's going to taste good eating. This takes doesn't cook anything, but all right. Let's get this guy in the grill. I'm up to temperature. Get the probe in, and I'll kick back for like seven hours. All right, there's the big reveal. Just pull it off the grill just a couple minutes ago. That was a 10 hour cook. It's about 65, 64 degrees out there for Florida burr, but that's looking good and it smells freaking delicious. All right, I'm gonna wrap it back up and we'll let this thing set. Oh, what you can smell this, guys. So you want tender? I don't know, how, how tender is that right there, huh? Look at that bone pulled right out. That's a good eating, people. I said, hang on. I told her to hang on, folks. She's still nibbling into it. Okay, this is the brined, marinated, 11 half hour cook, what I call Miami spin on shoulder pork. Okay, bite it, tell me what you think. Delish, I know how, this is incredibly tender, more tender than any of the pork shoulder I've had. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, there you go, people, the ultimate judge. Well, that's all, folks.
That's my line. Step aside, babe. Let a star do this. That's all. That's all, folks. Can I go home now? <laughs>